Hello everyone. <laughs> it's been a while. I have been teaching myself how to paint, which I'm loving. I've just finished these two and I think I'm very happy with them. Yeah, so I'm feeling very fresh with my work. I actually wanted to start a new one today, but I've run out of canvas. How are you guys? I honestly don't know where to start. So much has happened since I last posted on YouTube. The biggest thing that's happened is my transition into painting. When I decided I wanted to give painting a go, I really needed to give myself a few months off just so that I had the time and space to really let myself fail and teach myself a new skill. Shifting mediums has been probably the hardest thing I've done in my artistic journey and honestly it really has tested my patience and it's been really really humbling trying to figure out how oil paint works and all the different mediums you need and the different paint thinners and I actually think it is so much more complicated than drawing although there is quite a few different techniques that you can do with drawing and there is some really amazing techniques that I figured out for myself in charcoal drawings. I feel like that came way more naturally than oil painting and I felt like I had so much more control with a pencil and sometimes it's hard to know how much paint is on your brush and how much is going to actually transfer onto the painting and if it's going to create the right effect and sometimes you can't take it back. I knew that my early paintings were not going to be very good. I really needed to give myself permission to just make some really bad artworks and fail a few times and just figure it out and I really didn't want to let that get in the way of me continuing. Honestly it has been such a challenge. It has been really really discouraging trying to paint and then figuring out that I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I am a completely self-taught artist and so um, certain aspects of art making do come naturally to me and I think with this artwork this is one that I am pleased with and it, it was one of the first ones that actually started to look half decent and something that I could put my name to. I have also added in a few snippets of some artworks that I started working on but nothing came of them. Yeah, I, I ended up painting over a few of those artworks that didn't turn out. It's so amazing to see how far you can come in even just a month. So even if you're younger and you don't know where to start or if you're Later in life, it's really never too late. And you don't have to sell your work, you don't have to do anything with it, but the practice of art making is so incredible. To celebrate my shift into painting, I thought I would put all my online courses on sale. I have reduced all of my charcoal drawing courses to $49 because my whole career up until this point was based around charcoal drawings. I thought to celebrate the move into a new era of my life I would reduce all the courses and just make them really accessible for anyone who's interested. As you know it is incredibly hard to stay afloat as an artist um, but I really just wanted to create these courses and make them a lot more accessible for you guys. So if you're interested in learning how to either draw a tiger or how to use charcoal in general I have two online courses how to draw a tiger masterpiece and the ultimate charcoal techniques course both for $49 each so if you're interested in learning how to draw they are a great place to start. I can honestly say I'm so excited for the next few months everything is really starting to pick up I'm really starting to find my feet in the world of oil painting and um, my inspiration is just through the roof I am so inspired by the Renaissance and artists such as Michelangelo Leonardo da Vinci Vasari Caravaggio Raphael like all of those incredible artists from Florence and that we're all kind of alive at the same time, working together and creating this really beautiful classical painting style, something that I'm so interested in and I'm really trying to bring an element of that into my work but continue to keep it sort of contemporary and, and something that is of now as well as something that is of then. So I feel like my work is taking on a very multi-layered dimension and I'm really excited for the direction that it's going and um, as soon as I feel like I've got a grasp on the technical side of oil painting I feel like 
um, the ideas that I have will just flow naturally. But yes, once again, thank you so much for following along. I really, really can't thank you enough for sticking in there. I got a few emails and DMs on Instagram asking where I've been and I really, 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 really appreciate you guys checking in, seeing if I'm okay. Those sort of messages are so lovely and I have been wanting to come back for a really long time. I just, uh, I needed it to be the right, I needed it to feel right. And so here I am. Thank you for being here. I love you guys so much. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.